Angel City Sports, in simple terms, is a high growth, high impact nonprofit program designed to help kids, adults, and veterans with physical disabilities live healthy, active, and optimized lives. We provide free year round sports training, equipment, and competitive opportunities. But really, what Angel City does is about much more than sport. It is about creating a sense of belonging for our athletes and a more inclusive society through education and awareness building. Our truest passion is to find children and adults who didn't know or believe sports were possible for them and expose them to the amazing world of adaptive sports. Angel City Sports is creating a community and a sense of belonging. We help build self-acceptance, self-confidence, and ultimately enable our athletes to flourish on and off the court. We want to find, inspire, and develop adaptive athletes so no one is left on the sidelines because the water doesn't know a swimmer is blind. The track doesn't know a runner sprints on a blade. The tennis racket doesn't know if an athlete plays in a sports chair. An athlete is an athlete. It's that simple. We know what we do works. And just as important, it has the potential to impact everyone involved including family, friends, and the broader community. Join Angel City Sports. Join the movement. Help us transform the lives of our athletes, kids, adults, and veterans, so they can achieve their dreams on and off the field of play. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Angel City Games. This is number six, baby. Can you believe it? Woo! I want to see everybody out there. Put in the chat box how excited you are. I got it right over here. I got, look, Clayton Fretz is in here. Lauren's in here. We got Deb in here. Laura Webster. All these Tatiana McFadden. I'm seeing all the chat. We're going to just have a great time today. I mean, it's on and popping. This is the sixth Angel City Games presented by the Hartford. Now, listen, my name is John Register. I will be your host. Who am I? Well, I am a four-time track and field All-American and ran at the University of Arkansas Go Pigs. Uh, I went to two Olympic trials and two hurdle events, high hurdles and the 400 meter hurdles. After that, I joined the United States military, became a soldier, went to Operation Desert Shield, Desert Storm, whoa, salute the flag. And then in 1994, as I was training for my third Olympic games, I went across a hurdle, dislocated my knee, severed the artery behind the kneecap, and just five uh, days later, wound up becoming an amputee and immersed into this amazing community that I did not even know about. So from there, 27 months later, I started swimming for physical therapy. I got so fast in the water that I fluked up, messed up, and somehow made the Paralympic swim team in 1996. I saw athletes on the track running and jumping and wound up going to the Paralympic Games in uh, 2000, Sydney, Australia. If anybody remembers this little guy right here, Sydney, Australia, and came back with a little piece of hardware, the silver medal in the long jump in Sydney, Australia. So I didn't have to do anything but lose a leg to get my silver medal. How about that? How about you all out there adapting in sports? But it's about the legacy piece. It is about giving back. It is about making sure that the next generation actually comes through. And that's why Angel City Games is so critically important. So for me, I began the uh, military sport program for the United States Olympic Committee, started doing all youth programs across the, the United States and, and somewhere around the globe. And then that turned into Warrior Games, Warrior Games into Invictus Games. And so here we are right now with Angel City Games. And this is one of the premier games that is happening all across the world. And we're going to get right into it right now. Um, so I love the Angel City Games. Why? Because this is a game where we are back and we are doing this in a very different environment. And we're, we know that we are adaptable. Uh, people that look at us and look at people with disabilities and think, any otherwise, we know that we are adaptable. We know that we push into this environment. This environment was made for us. Now, this was a bit of a different, you know, it's a different bit of a games that we had to adapt. But hey, that's what we do in adaptive sports, right? Uh, because when we're in remote locations, we really get a chance to be anywhere. I mean, anywhere, like on my rower in my garage. 
All right, so welcome to the garage. <laughs> you know, these uh, Angel City Games, they are a celebration of adaptive sports, right? And in just its sixth year, the Angel City Games are already one of the largest adaptive sports festivals in the entire country. We are especially excited this summer as the games are virtual, meaning the entire world can participate, right? I've heard we have athletes from all over the globe, from countries such as South Africa, Sweden, Canada, and Germany. That's just crazy, right? So what's your remote location? Put that in the chat box right now. Your city, your country, where are you coming in from, right? Uh, because Angel City Games is global. Speaking of global, it is these great games are happening in July. Why? Because I want to put that in the chat box too. Because it's a special month. People with disabilities, we are celebrating 30 years, 30 years of what, JR? 30 years of signing of the Americans with Disabilities Act. When you think about it, we might not be able to be in this position today without it. The reason why we still need it is that though people with disabilities have become more commonplace in society, we still lag behind in healthcare and in employment. These games show the world that we live full lives. We are adaptable to hard times. We have value. So think about how you might celebrate the ADA on July the 26th. Now, we have some local celebrities in the house and I see Mayor Eric Garzetti is in the house too. So it's wonderful to have you here and have all of your support. It is amazing to be part of such a special event and I'm looking forward to meeting new friends and trying new things during the Angel City Virtual Games presented by the Hartford. Um, so that's what's going on this summer and you are right here, you're right in the place and we want you to be here as well. But why stay in the garage, it's a hot sweaty growing machine, right? Let's go to the front porch where it's nice and cool. Hey, does anyone see my leg? Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> get out of here, get out of here. You know, like all of you, I was initially disappointed when I found out we would not be all at the beautiful UCLA campus out there in LA. Uh, but when I found out that we have 21 days to celebrate adaptive sports, I mean, I was off the charts happy. The Paralympic movement and this community in general, as I was really hyped. We have seven straight days of fun this week, starting today and ending with the virtual pajama fun run and roll on Sunday, July the 19th. Man, how do I get into my pajamas? Oof. Well, uh, then we are back here for week number two. And from August the 3rd to the 9th, and week number three from August the 24th to August the 30th. I cannot wait for what's ahead this summer. It all starts with sports clinics, with some of the world's greatest athletes. I mean, wheelchair basketball, track and field, goalball, and eSport. And that's just today. Be sure to stay updated on the Angel City Games website at angelcitygames.com. Dot org and this awesome portal for all the upcoming events and activities. None of this will be possible without the generous support of our sponsors. And a big thank you once again to our presenting sponsor, The Hartford. <sighs> oh, I got a Hartford hat. Where'd that come from? And, and why am I wearing a ski beanie in the summertime? Hartford, thanks for the hat. I'm not sure how you did that, but thank you. Uh, who received their, their, their kit in the mail? I can't wait to use my resist band, and you guys already know I took advantage of that massage ball. Staying active without uh, any equipment can uh, really be difficult. So thank you to the Hartford for recognizing and sending us the tools we need to stay healthy and active, especially the hat. Now let's go back inside to the studio and finish up this part of the conversation. So look, I didn't have my hat. We're back inside the studio. How many like that? Put that in the chat. Do you like that? That's pretty cool. We can do remote, man. So we, you didn't get a hat because I had a hat because I went to another event where I, Hartford gave me a hat. And Mayor Eric Garcetti's not here on this one, but he's going to be here for the the uh, the, the veterans concert that we're going to be having as well. So uh, we, we can't wait to make sure that he's there. But you also put into the chat where you were from. We have New York in the house, California, Manhattan Beach, Fort Worth, Texas, Big Bear, California, Aloha, Aloha State, that's Deb, I think, out there, and, and, K and Katie, Spokane, Washington, Southern Cal. Uh, we got Massachusetts, Santa Monica, Sao Paulo, Brazil. I think you get the the, 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 the greatest distance. Uh, Simi Valley, California, Orland, or, uh, Orlando, Florida, New Jersey, Sherman Oaks, California. I mean, this is awesome that you are coming in all around the place and we can just meet right here on online. So uh, we have a lot 
to share before the first clinic begins. To kick things off, I want to introduce a great friend of mine. He's put his heart, his soul, his passion, everything that you can think about Angel City Games as we think about this gentleman right here. I've known him for many years. He's a gentleman who started with the big dream of adaptive sports and bringing it to the Los Angeles area. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, give it up and a warm welcome for Mr. Clayton Fretch. Hello, everyone. Thank you for the great introduction, John, and thanks for being our host this year at the Angel City Games, presented by the Hartford, all virtually. I'm here in my home office, wearing my games hat, and so excited to be here, everyone. We work on this event all year long, so just so pumped. Uh, and, you know, it's a year where we really need this. You know, it's been challenging to be isolated and to have all of our events canceled from the Paralympics to Junior Nationals to the Angel City Games. Um, and what's what's really been the hardest part of 2020 for me personally, and I think a lot of us in the Angel City community, is the passing of Angela Madsen, our longtime friend and coach and mentor. Uh, she was like uh, a grandmother to uh, Angel City. She was part of the fabric of our organization. So sad. Uh, and if you didn't hear, she was rowing solo, unassisted, to Hawaii from Los Angeles, and she passed away halfway uh, across the Pacific, as far from land as anyone could be. And, uh, uh, you know, we're not sure exactly what happened, but it was her 60th birthday, and unfortunately, uh, we're not going to get to hear uh, cheer her on as she rows into Hawaii next month. Um, so our hearts go out to Deb and the whole the whole family at carp and uh so in her honor we're dedicating the entirety of the angel city games this year to her um just just you know so look out for little tributes and things that we're going to do um our hope is the games this year gives you a little dose of inspiration and fun and entertainment and storytelling there's a lot going on this year uh three weeks and we're just so excited to have all of you. Thank you to all the athletes and your families for, for attending in past years and for coming out this year. Thank you to our staff, volunteers, and sponsors, especially to Hartford and Adaptive Apps for building us this killer uh, digital platform. Uh, have a great time. Enjoy the next three weeks of the games. And uh, I get to introduce Mike Shea, longtime friend of, the, friend of Angel City, uh, friend of the family, uh, Mike's a two-time Paralympian. He's a silver medalist from Sochi in the snowboarding. And he actually does a little track and field. That's that's a little secret. Uh, he, he ran and jumped, uh, did the high jump in 2016. So, Mike, take it away, man. Good morning. Thank you, Clayton, for the intro. Um, you know, my name is Mike Shea. I'm a Paralympic snowboarder for Team USA. And this morning I'm speaking on behalf of my sponsor, the Hartford. I'm extremely fortunate to have worked with the Hartford for the last seven years, and I've been here to see the impact that they've had on wonderful events like Angel City Games. Now, the Hartford is a leader in the adaptive sports movement and have a long history in supporting disabled athletes like myself. It's so inspiring to see how even during these uncertain times, the Hartford continues to help make sports accessible to everyday athletes through their sponsorship of Angel City Games. And by doing so, they have a tremendous impact on in, in both competitive side and the recreational side. Now, I lost my leg at the age of 19 while out wakeboarding with friends. It was a total freak accident, and in an instant, it changed the outlook of my life dramatically. Now, I thought for certain that I would never be able to get back to doing the sports that I had always loved. But through events like this, I found my way, and it eventually led me to a Paralympic medal in 2014. Now, that's an experience and a memory that I will cherish for a lifetime. After competing for over a decade on the U.S. team, I know for certain that I would not have been able to accomplish the things that I accomplished in my athletic career if it wasn't for sponsors like the Hartford who invested in me as an athlete. Or even organizations like Angel City who run events and camps like this that helps with outreach and sport development programs. It's a unified effort to turn dreams into a reality and improve the quality of life of those living with disabilities. So on behalf of the Hartford, we are so grateful to be a part of this wonderful movement. And I hope that this year you guys all enjoy the Angel City Games. 
Hey, that's the amazing Mike Shea. Wow, thank you so much, Mike, for being with us and, and the Hartford, of course, for uh, bringing you on. I mean, you are just a rock star. I loved hanging out with you over there in, in, uh, in Korea. Just had a great time just doing all the stuff Congratulations on all your success. Clayton, uh, what can we say? We just want to thank you again for, for that. Okay, everybody, right now, I want you to put in the chat box the Olympic and the Paralympic model. The Olympic and the Paralympic model. What is it? Put it in there. I want to see what you think it is. Because on uh, June, last June, June 23rd, we're celebrating Olympic and Paralympic Day. Here's what was so amazing about this this year in the United States. The International Olympic Committee and the International Paralympic Committee, they got together uh, and they said that we could celebrate this, this day together. Now, remember when I said in the introduction that I came from the Olympic side and crossed over to the Paralympic side, it'd be cool to kind of go back the other way, but I crossed over, right? So we want to make sure that we are being able to celebrate both entities together because I will tell you, Training for the Olympic Games and training for the Paralympic Games, it's no difference. There is no difference. We train hard. We want to be the best in the world. And we get a chance to do that at, we, at these things, games called the Angel City Games. We can move that uh, opportunity forward. So I want to just take a, a chance, to, a moment right here, just to kind of do a little bit of throwback that it's an incredible step to have these two organizations come together to allow us to have this, the only country to be able to have this uh, right here in the United States. So we wanna make sure that this spreads around the world. You can use your voice to make sure that Olympians and Paralympians are celebrating these days together. So what's it all about? The celebration was created back on June the 23rd, 1948 to commemorate uh, the modern day Olympic Games. So 1948 begins not only the Paralympic movement by Dr. Uh, Sir Ludwig Gutmann, but also there's some other amazing things that are happening in 1948 as well. University of Illinois starts their program, right? Uh, the, in 1948 begins SISM, the Council of International Sports Military. So this was military sports, NATO countries and non-NATO countries, countries that could have fought wars together are using the battlefield of sport to get back to healthy active lifestyles to bring society back together. That's what sports does. It connects us again. The modern day Olympic games put on by, um, uh, was founded once again um, back in 1896 after about 12 delegates wanted to, to re-put that games back on the map. Uh, and that started, you know, from Athens, Greece. And and we look at that as moving this whole movement forward. And of course, in 1948, when Sir Ludwig Gutmann does his work as well and brings everybody from kind of World War II back into uh, and moving forward with people with disabilities. So that's where our history, our heritage come, comes from. Now, Olympic Day is celebrated on June the 23rd every year and over 4 million people around the world they get a chance to take part and i hope that you took part on this last year if not you got another uh, 11 months and you can do it one more time olympic day and paralympic day celebrates much of what we do right here at the angel city games presented by the hartford it's a celebration to provide fitness well-being culture and education and while we also observe olympic values of excellence friendship and respect olympic and paralympic day creates opportunities for people to participate across the globe regardless of their age their gender their ethnicity it's just an amazing thing you throw a ball out anywhere in the world people come running now i want to see what you had paralympic and crib said paralympic spirit in motion absolutely olympics higher faster stronger citius altius fortius absolutely right scott had it right as well uh jonathan well uh velete i can't i gotta get my glasses to read had it right uh sherry had it right spirit in motion spirit in motion i love it that you're getting that mind body spirit spirit in motion is the paralympic model and his swister higher stronger or citius altius fortius for the Olympic model. Now to take us a little bit deeper in that, to help us honor Olympic and Paralympic Day here at our opening ceremony, I am really pleased to announce a couple of legendary people. I mean, these rock stars, right? They are with us. I told you we had some rock stars in our midst. And one of them is a decorated, one of the most decorated Paralympic athletes ever, multiple sports. That is the Candice Cable, we bow, we bow before you. And then we have Hall of Famer, Olympic swimmer, the breaststroker, John Moffitt is here as well, ladies and gentlemen. So Candice and John, take it away.
Hello, my name is John Moffat, and I was a member of the 1980 and 1984 Olympic swim team. And I'm also president of the Southern California Olympians and Paralympians Association. But today I'm going to be calling it the Southern California Paralympians and Olympians Association. I would like to, I would like to welcome all of the retired Olympians and Paralympians here to support the 2020 virtual Angel City Games. And Candace and I would also like to give a shout out to all of the Paralympians and Olympians who will be serving as coaches and lending their expertise to all of the adaptive athletes over the next three weeks. All right, Candace, you're up. All right, well, I guess I guess I don't need my mask. You know, I'm trying to stay safe here in Southern California with uh, with all this virus going on, man. It's like, what do you do? It's kind of kind of scary, right? Um, hey, everybody. Hi, Angel City athletes and coaches and everybody. Um, I wanted to start off with a little bit of description of who I am. Um, and also for someone who can't see, I'm a white person. I have brown hair. I've, uh, I've actually got my Angel City 2020 shirt on. So I'm pretty excited by that. And I use a wheelchair for mobility, but you can't see that because you only see me from about the neck up. Uh, I was a nine-time Paralympian, as uh, John was saying, and it's, uh, it was an amazing career, 27 years, and I won some hardware, and I got an opportunity to be able to participate in a lot of really cool stuff. And one of the things that sports did for me was help me be able to, you know, to, to talk about the things that are important to me, but the stuff that scares me. And I wanted to just take a moment to reflect, we're living through some unusual historic times. We're living in a pandemic. And, and this is a part of history that has never happened before. And I, I think that all of us have a lot of different feelings, like being afraid, I know I have been, um, being scared, being sad, being angry. And it's really important to come together and talk about that stuff. And community is something that we have formed here at the Angel City Games. And I'm very grateful for the Angel City sports team and all of the coaches here that have come together to give us an opportunity to gather like sports does, either in person or virtual, and celebrate all the pieces of sports that we love and the people that we love. So remember, have fun and honor your feelings and get out there and do your best and i'm going to kick it off with an introduction just a short introduction because john and i are going to go through each one of the olympians and paralympians that are a part of the angel city games that are happening in the next three weeks with our goddess angela matson who we all are broken heart that she's gone and know that her spirit lives on in so many of us. So as you're taking part in the games, please think about Angela and just like throw your fist into the air and be like, yeah, Angela, yeah. All right, Angela Matson was a Paralympian in the years of 2008, 2012, and 2016 in rowing and track and field. And we, right, have an amazing, we have an amazing amount of Paralympians and Olympians who are here supporting uh, the Angel City Games. Uh, so let's uh, get started with that list. Uh, Kathy Kusner, she was an Olympian and equestrian, 1964, 68, and 72. All right, Wynoma Tynus, she was Olympian, track, 1964 and 1968. John Neighbor, the legend swimmer, Olympian, 1976. <laughs> oh yeah, Catherine Starr. Olympian swimming, 1984 and 1988. Paula Weishoff, women's volleyball, Olympian, 1984, 1992, and 1996. And we have Mike Benning, a Paralympian, alpine skiing, 1984. Sebastian De Francisco, Paralympian, table tennis, track and field, and rugby. 1984 through 2005. All right, Janai Kerr, Olympian, 
track and whoa, wait, I skipped a pen. Let's start over. Deny Kerr, Olympian, water polo, not track. 1998, 2010. Lex Gillette, track and field long jump, uh, Paralympian 2004, 2008, 2012, and 2016. All right, Rudy Garcia Tolson, Paralympian swimming, 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016. Taylor Lipset, Paralympian sled hockey in 2006, 2010, and 2014. Anthony Laura, Paralympian. Tennis and table tennis, 2000 and 2008. Uh, joining us from Northern California, Ann Warner Cribs, Olympian swimming, 1960. And we have Dave Kiley, Paralympian, wheelchair basketball and track and field and alpine skiing, 1976, 1980, 1984, 1988, 1992, 2000. Wow. Racked them up. Yeah, I told you we had a lot of decorated Paralympians and Olympians here. These are all coaches who will be helping uh, for the next over the next three weeks with our adaptive sports. Uh, Scott Danberg, Paralympian, track and field, including discus and shot put and javelin. 1988, 1992, 98, 2004, 2008, and 2012. And we have Will Waller. He's a Paralympian with wheelchair basketball. 2000, 2004, 2008, and 2012. Tatiana McFadden, Paralympian track and field. Nordic, 2004, 2008, 2012, 2014, and 2016. All right. Oh, it looks like uh, we got Pau Gasol from Spain, Olympian. Power forward, 2008, 2012, 2016. We have Marco Borges representing Brazil, a Paralympian in the discus 2008 and 2012. And we have Ronald Hurstog from the Netherlands, Paralympian, Javelin, 2008, 2012, 2016. We have Jennifer Trayvon, Paralympian, wheelchair basketball, 2012, 2016. And we have Megan Blanc, Paralympian, Wheelchair Basketball, 2016. Lacey Henderson, Long Jump Paralympian, 2016. And we have Regis Woods, Paralympian, Track and Field, 2016. Cody Jones and Javelin Paralympian, 2016. And Elena Mason, Paralympian, Goal Ball, 2016. We have Tyrone Pelais representing South Africa, uh, Paralympian also in 2016. All right, Glenn Mills, Olympian swimming. And I apologize, I don't have dates. Well, he was a teammate of mine in 1980, so. All right, thank you, John Moffat, for the win. <laughs> Pamela Fontaine, Paralympian, wheelchair basketball and table tennis. Uh, 1984, 2012, and 2016. We have Allison Compton, Paralympian volleyball, sitting volleyball, men's standing team in Sydney, 2000, and women's sitting team, Athens, 2004. And I'll tell you, if you get a chance to talk to Allison, that's a great story, men's standing team, and she's a woman. I want to hear that. Uh, Laura Webster, uh, sitting volleyball, Paralympian, 2004, 2008, 2012, and 2016. And we have Tom Mezga, Paralympian, swimming, 2008. Caitlin Verforth, Paralympian tennis, 20, uh, 2004, 2008, 2016. And Mallory Wegman. Paralympian swimming, 2012-2016. Samantha Bosco, cycling Paralympian in 2016. All right, Leah Coriel, Paralympian archery, 2016. Nikki Nieves, Paralympian sitting volleyball, also 2016. Bethany Zumo, Paralympian sitting volleyball, 2016. 
Nikki Nieves. Oh, uh, wait, did you just say that? Bethany Zumo, Paralympian uh, nope, Sitting Volleyball so. 2016. No, Nikki I Nieves. No, Nikki Nieves, Paralympian Sitting Volleyball. Sorry. Uh, okay, um, John Kremer, Paralympian Sitting Volleyball 2016. Dana Mathewson, Paralympian Wheelchair Tennis. And that uh, wraps it up. I hope we didn't miss anybody. But if we did, please let us know uh, in the chat and we'll be sure to recognize your support. So John Register, it's back to you. All right. Hey, thanks, John. Appreciate the throwback. Yes, and I see that we have so many that are putting them in the chat. We asked that question just so that we wouldn't miss anybody, but one was missed. You missed my name. I, I'm, I'm ticked. I'm ticked about that. We're going to have to fix that later in the in the rescript. Hey, I just got a, a, a call in from uh, one of the people that is just being rock stars and put this whole program together for us. And uh, she wants you to know, and we're, you're, you're going to hear from her a little bit later, but she wants you to know that all the programs are going to start right after this is over. So don't worry about going anyplace. We're going to just do it. Uh, you're just going to go to your places right after this is over. But now we have um, a wonderful amazing guest that's going to be coming on. Uh, we want to thank our host, Adaptive Apps. Isn't this incredible that we get a chance to see everything and how adaptable we can be in an environment like this? So Adaptive Apps, who built this portal specifically for us, the platform is, as you can see, really accessible and allows us to access a lot of the activities that are, are being planned for us. If you look at many other apps that are out there right now that are people are going to in the remote locations, no one really thinks about people with disabilities. But Angel City Games does, and we want to thank Adaptive App for doing that. Now, like I said, we have a special guest to get to right now. Uh, America the Beautiful, she's going to sing it. It's being performed by our artist to open us up, Victoria Canal. Um, so we just want to take it away to Victoria. Rock the house, Victoria. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of green, for purple mountains, majesties above the fruited plain. America, America, God shed His grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Oh my gosh, Victoria. I mean, does anybody have goose right now? I mean, my goosebumps have goosebumps. Thank you so much for that beautiful rendition of America. Beautiful. That was powerful. Thank you, uh, Victoria. Now, we also want Gold Sponsor, the Foundation for Global Sports Development. We also want to thank Mar Vista Entertainment, Citibank, and Gold Meets Golden. None of be possible without their just support also great time to acknowledge our silver sponsor move united so congrats on your first year at who combines sports entity microsoft shannon fabrics bank of california the capital group the hangar foundation the wayfinder family services so all right everybody it's almost time for us to get our first activities kicked off for 2020 angel city games uh virtual games presented by the hartford uh I am so amazed by the options that we have to participate, as I said in the opening. Two, three weeks of this going on, and we can do it from anywhere in the world. So to summer and to let you know what's coming up, we have the director 
of the Angel City Virtual Games, Camille Mall Connect. So take it away, Camille. Thank you, John. This is my second year directing the games, and it's such a pleasure to see so many familiar faces here this morning. We usually say it takes a village to run the games, and this year has been no different. I'd like to recognize our staff and our wonderful volunteer leadership team who have been working so hard these past few months to make this summer a special one. I'd also like to thank our bronze sponsors who helped make this all possible. Performax, Falauer, Michaelman and Robinson, the Abilities Recovery Center, Connell Doyle Law, and Shamrock Capital. We are also so lucky to have worked with amazing partner organizations for this event. It would take me all morning to list everybody who pitched in, but the entire Angel City family is so grateful to have partnered with over 20 like-minded organizations to make this summer epic. I am stoked you guys are here. And I want to remind you, it's just the beginning. After this week, we're back for week two, August 3rd through 9th, and week three, August 24th through 30th. I'm talking new sports, new special events, two more concerts, and countless family-friendly activities, community building activities, you name it. We got the whole summer set for you guys. And I want to encourage you all to stay up to date and use the Angel City Sports platform to connect with your coaches and peers and really try new things. Take the virtual games as an opportunity to try something new. Whether it's a sport, you've been hesitant to give a go in the past, or maybe you can connect with someone halfway around the world you never would have met otherwise. This summer, we need each other more than ever. So let's stay together online, on social media, do whatever we can to remind each other we're not alone. Finally, I really want to emphasize that all of the activities planned throughout the 2020 Angel City Virtual Games presented by the Hartford can be done without any equipment and without accessing any facilities. We want you all to stay active, but your health and your safety are most important. Please practice social distancing, and if you can, wear a mask. If we all do our part, we can get back on the court, back in the pool, back in the gym, and whatever else I'm missing right now, sooner rather than later. Thank you so much for being here, and let's have an epic summer. Hey, wow, Camille, that was awesome. Uh, you are getting blown up in the chat. It's, they say you're a champion, you're a rock star, all this. I'm looking at right here. Thank you so much for what you have done to continue to be the glue that puts these games together. So it's, like I said, it's just about that time. Now, I I knew Angela Madsen from, I think 1995 was when we first met at the National Veteran Wheelchair Games. And we've been, you know, thick as thieves ever since, kind of pushing together in this space. Uh, I did a interview with her right before she rode off. And uh, Deb, her wife, allowed me to post that up on the YouTube channel. So if you just go to John Register's YouTube channel, you can actually see it. There have been about 250 people that have watched that, that YouTube already right before she did went off. So you can see her boat. You can see the excitement in her in her voice and, and getting ready to, to move off. So, so check that out. But right now we want to have uh, Deb begin to open us up with the opening ceremony. De uh, um, that is Angela's wife. She's over there in Hawaii right now. And we have a couple short videos we want to share with you as she begins to kick us off for these sixth annual, these games presented by the Hartford, Angel City. It's coming to you, like Camille said, anywhere you can, be safe. Let's roll the video.
Hi everybody, this is Deborah Matson, and I just want to welcome everybody to the 2020 Angel City Games. It's a little different situation this year, but that's okay. Different can be fine, and it might open up some possibilities that you didn't even realize would come to you from this. Uh, Angela Matson coached at the games from the start. We were both very excited. I Los Angeles is my hometown, and there were not the opportunities that we uh, had hoped for in Los Angeles until Angel City came and it's become quite the fun festival to try things and compete. Uh, I want you guys all to have a great games and uh, let the games begin. Hi everybody, this is Deborah Matson, and I just And we even have a virtual cowbell. All right. <laughs> I didn't know you could have one of those things. That is awesome. So, so thank you, Deb, much for the Hartford Adaptive Apps and all of our sponsors, our volunteers, and most of all, all of you. You can now leave the Zoom room. We're going to begin to access the all the epic clinics that are going on happening today, starting right now. Like we said, after, after this presentation was, was finished, this opening ceremony, the links are coming up to the clinics and also in the chat for easy access. So like Deb said, let the virtual games begin.